Okay, there we go. I had to fix that little glitch there before we could get started. So, it is January the 19th, 2017. Amazing. The year is already moving by so quickly, if this is any indication by looking at the month. Anyhow, we're going to discuss uses for some basic uh, oils tonight, but it's going to be oils that we don't typically talk about too much in classes, and I'm going to try to keep this um, very friendly, very easy, uh, because we've done a couple of the basic oil classes lately, so I want to kind of shift it up a little bit and change it around. So without further ado, let's roll. My name is Aliza Nagar. I am a freedom coach. Freedom coach is someone who knows that um, we all need freedom mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually, physically, and financially. And someone who has already begun to take those steps so they're already on the road towards those things and wants to inspire others to change and have freedom. I am a mom of three adult children. I have 15 grandchildren. I worked as a nurse for about 15 years. Um, I loved it. It was something I thrived on. Um, there was a period of time the last five years that I actually worked two full-time jobs and raised two children and had a husband and a lot of other stuff. <laughs> um, but anyhow, um, my heart developed some difficulties uh, with the electricity in it, the electrical currents in it. And so uh, the decision was made to de-stress my life and nursing was what went. And um, after that, I became very interested in midwifery. I have um, assisted with the de home delivery of several of my children, or grandchildren rather, and several, a uh, few of my grandchildren were born in hospitals and I got to do that as well. I also began to really study herbs and how to use them. Um, for a long time, that was all I used uh, after I left the nursing field and after they had given me medication that they should not have given me. Um, one doctor had told one doctor what to give me and the second doctor gave me the wrong thing. So it, um, it got changed and I actually am the one who suffered the consequences of that. But anyhow, um, after that happened is when I really began to look at studying the herbs and the natural solutions that our father has given us. Um, and um, I used the herbs and the issues I was having with my heart went from having several a day, several a week, to the point that I could barely function sometimes, to where I was having several a month. And that was good, but I might would have three or four days really going pretty good, and then I'd have two or three days of recovery. And so um, I kept working, trying to figure out something else. And then in 2014, I took a fall, and I was living in Arkansas, and a lady in Virginia sent me a sample of essential oils, and I used them on my ankle. and. The, here was my thoughts. I had tried the nail brand. I had tried some other brands I could get at the health food store. And every time I would use one of them, I would go, I really don't know what the hype is about all of this. And so I really wasn't impressed with essential oils. And, and so when she sent me these essential oils, I knew something was different. I didn't know what the difference was, but I knew something was, was definitely different. And I began to pray. And the Father actually supplied the funding for me to get started in the essential oils. And it has been an amazing experience since then. Um, the emotional impact surprised me 
in a huge way. The, um, um, the spiritual impact just totally blew me away. Um, it, has, it has been an amazing experience. By June of 2014, I was also using the Lifelong Vitality supplements as well as using what essential oils I was using. And what I began to notice is I was having less episodes with my heart. At this point in the ball game, I still use um, some other supplements that I was using before I ever started doTERRA. But and magnesium is the big one on that end, the magnesium sidetrack that I take. <clears throat> but what I noticed, what I've noticed is I'm now maybe, maybe having one a month. Sometimes it's one every two months. So I'm, I'm telling folks that I'm averaging somewhere between one and three per three months. Because a lot of times what I'm, I'm noticing, the last episode actually was just a few, a few days ago, is I had one, and then a few hours later, I had a little bit of a smaller one, and then it was over with. And so, so I, I thought about it, and that's something that I'm actually noticing is on the days that I have it now, I'm actually having just like a aftershock kind of thing. Um, and it's usually days that I'm extremely tired or extremely stressed or a combination of the two. Uh, the, this particular day, I hadn't rested well the night before. The stress level was really quite something for a few days, and I think it led up to the episode. So I don't have the long recovery. My recovery seems to be a lot quicker. Um, by the next day, I really didn't have a whole lot of issues. So that's all good stuff. And we lost someone who was with us. Let me see here if I can. I, I can't see. But anyhow. Um, on to the next one. So where do essential oils come from? Well, they come from plants, of course. <laughs> plants can be trees. Okay, flowers, uh, whichever. Uh, hang on just a second. Anyhow, so the oils can come from, they're extracted from the different parts. So you have the shoot, which is what you see with the leaves and the limbs and all that. And you have the root. Okay, so you have the primary root, which is the the stalk, all right, and then you have the lateral roots, which are the larger pieces coming off of that. So you have the stem, the leaf, the bud, the flower. So you look at this plant and you think about trees, and this is where they come from. Sometimes it's the root, like vetiver is the root. Um, lavender is the flowers. Peppermint is the leaves. So it could be any part of that. And that's where they come from. Our father knew what he was doing when he created them. That is for sure and for certain. Um, notice even sometimes it's before the, the flower actually uh, opens. It's just the bud. And so there's a distilling process or a pressing process. Even fruit. Um, the, the wild orange, the lemon, things that they come from the peeling. The wild orange, I think it is it the wild orange? Um, I can't remember if it's the wild orange or if it was, um, there's another one. One of them comes from the peeling and the other one comes from the flower. And so they will bring a little different scent to it. Um, um, but anyhow, there, it depends upon what part of the plant and what you're wanting as to what uh, you see. Um, I will just say this. I, I had asked Melissa if she was here because a minute ago she was and then she wasn't. I can't see you, Melissa. That's the reason why I'm doing all this is because uh, why I said something because I can't see you at all. I don't even see that you're present. I know Elk is supposed to be here too, and I don't see her either. All right, so um, how do we use them? 
You can use them aromatically, which is, let me tell you what I did. Every time I get ready to do a class, I will most definitely pull out Arbor Vitae and Balance. If you're going to do a presentation, if you're going to do something extremely hard to do that may have some emotions in it, but you've got to be calm, cool, and collected to be able to talk. I Last year, I had a situation come up where I had to go do something I really didn't want to do, and there was a lot of emotions involved with it, a lot of pain involved with it. <clears throat> And I used Arbor Vitae and Balance and Frankincense because Frankincense is just, that's my oil I'm addicted to. But anyhow, I used those. I went, my emotions calmed down. I went and did what I had to do. I was calm, cool, and collected, which is what I needed to be so I could be heard. Before I present for a class, I always try to use at least Arbor Vitae and Balance. Tonight, due to some things, that has gone on, I needed a little more, so I used the frankincense and I also included geranium. And here's what I did. I put them on my hand, a drop of each one on my hand, rubbed my hands together, I smelled, and I rubbed them on my clothes. All right, and I smelled, and you can see there's no staining on my clothes from what I did. And, and so I've got that scent going on, and that's helping me to be able to be calm, and to be able to do this and to feel um, like everything is going good. <clears throat> so that's one of the ways, aromatically, is you see the children with a diffuser, they're leaned right over that diffuser and they're smelling. And, and so, you know, that is another way to be able to get, I love my diffuser. I can put my oils in my diffuser and completely change the atmosphere in my room absolutely love it or in my home or in my car or if I'm wearing it like I am now I went in to talk to mom and dad and 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 she's going what are you wearing because she smelled it and she was talking about oh it smells so good you and and topically you could put it directly on in this particular case you see it on the knee you can rub the essential oils right where they need to be like I said at the very beginning when I fell I had that hurt foot I put it directly on the ankle and the upper part of my foot so that that would get right where the problem is at uh, can be used internally you could put them in capsules we have gel, some things in gel caps and you can also put it in water dad <clears throat> Um, has a lot of respiratory issues and he was getting a uh, hoarse throat you know when I was able to talk real good that gravelly voice the other day and so I put some on guard in some water and he drank it he really enjoyed it he thought it tasted good and um, you know what his throat cleared up and things never pro progressed from there uh, if you use them topically you can dilute them if you would like to do so uh, I really, I, I've never been one to do it a whole lot just because it's too many steps for me. Uh, but the truth of, ma of the matter is, is if you dilute using fractionated coconut oil, which we have, then you won't be staining your clothes. <clears throat> but what it does is it slows down the absorption. It slows it down into the, to the body so that it lasts over a longer period of time. But it also stops that essential oil from being evaporated up into the air. So there you can do that. But if you choose not to dilute it, it's called NEAT, using the essential oils NEAT. Um, and diluting it for young or sensitive skin is, is probably very wise, um, you know, to make sure that they're not having any um, adverse reactions to the direct contact. Um, <clears throat> And dilute uh, before using topically is, you know, a, a thing that you can do or not do for the sensitivity. You have to decide where you're at on that. I just put them on a lot of times, but they are nice if they're diluted. I will say that. The beauty of doTERRA essential oils. Okay. One of the things that... Um, the beauty of the essential oils is, is where they come from. For instance, vetiver comes from Haiti. Uh, Arborvitae comes from British Columbia. And spikenard comes from Nepal. 
Okay, and if you know anything about Nepal, or you know anything about Haiti, or anything about British Columbia, you've got different economical backgrounds going on. And people like Haiti and Nepal, they need people to come in with schools and hospitals and things of that nature and help them. Well, guess what? That's what we get to do by going in and helping those families to be able to to make the money that they need eliminating the middleman we get to impact these people so the beauty of the essential oils goes beyond what it can do for you and it comes over to what we can do for other people as well just by me using them i get to help somebody else and so to me that is a very beautiful beautiful thing <clears throat> They are free of fillers and pesticides and foreign contaminants, which actually adds to their beauty. They're verified pure and safe. They are third party tested. Dr. Robert Pappas is uh, an essential oil scientist that is renowned. Uh, he is, his uh, essential university actually does a lot of our third party testing. Plus the University of Georgia, Miss Elka needs to give us a shout out from Georgia because they are another one of our parties. And then there's one that remains secret uh, so that there can be a sense of propriety in providing safety where this is concerned, which I think is very wise on everybody's part. Um, one of the things I want you to also understand uh, going back to the previous slide, something I forgot to mention is let's just say that in your using it topically, you got a hold of mm, a friend of mine decided she wanted to put wintergreen in her bathtub. So she did. Now I've done that, it didn't bother me a bit, but it bothered her. And, and so what you need to understand is you need to test the essential oil somewhere on your body first before you do something like that, number one. Number two, if you get a hold of one that creates some heat or sensitivity in that kind of way, don't wash it off with water. It's actually going to increase it. Use some kind of oil. Go to the kitchen, get the olive oil. Use your fractionated coconut oil whatever but do not do this with water one time <clears throat> i was putting i had been crying and one of the things you can do with frankincense is you can take it and this bone that circles the eye is called the orbital bone and you can take the frankincense and you can rub it on the orbital bone like this around the eye and it'll help you to get rid of the signs of crying and I did it, but I got a little too much and it got in my eye and of course it burned. And what did I do? I went and got the oil and I rubbed some across my eye. It stopped it and I was able to go clean the oil off and we were good to go. So always remember that. <clears throat> some more beauties of doTERRA essential oils. There are 54 single oils, 46 blends or the um, gel cap blends. Because we have like um, breathe and not breathe, but um, on guard and digesting and, and peppermint and, and gel cap form. So those are counted in with the blends. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to have a drink. Maybe that'll stop this. The ease of use is another beauty. I can carry my essential oils with me pretty much anywhere I want to go. I was out today and a precious, precious person reminded me to use my essential oils and I have these little keychain things. I should have had one out here to tell you about it, but I think they're with my purse, which is over there and I'm not going to go get it. So anyhow, little keychain things with oils in it and I pulled it out and I used them right there in the parking lot. And, and so you can use your essential oils wherever you want to, to use them without difficulty. <clears throat> they can be taken on a plane or a train. If we want to get into the Dr. Seuss thing, we can do planes and trains. Anyhow, moving on. <laughs> They're pennies per drop. 
That's another thing. You're not spending bukus of money. You're not going to the pharmacy and spending bukus of money for something that you can have in your home for pennies per drop. Now, I'm not saying um, don't go to the pharmacy. What I am saying is, is like with any other thing, sometimes we have to be willing to try something. So at least try it because if it works, then you don't have to go do this. The doctors that my daughter uses, I got the privilege to talk to some of them here not recently when we went in with her children. And he was very much into the idea of do whatever you can do to keep from coming into the doctor. But if you have to come, then you come. And that's pretty much my philosophy is if I can take care of it over here and I don't have to go to the doctor, then why should I have to do that? And, and But if I need to go, by crookies, I know how to get up and go. And so I'm never going to tell anybody not to go to the doctor, but I am going to say there's some things that you can try that will be of benefit. Um, the essential oil beauties, so they support the body system, the cells, the emotions, mental status, immunity, the spiritual being, and our walk through life. We all know... Um, about what I was just talking about, about the medications and things, you know, we can, we can try something, whether it's, it are, for, for instance, um, a glass of water can sometimes change the whole environment in our body. So you gotta, you, if you've got um, discomfort in your head, go drink some water. You may not have drank enough for the day. You didn't have to go to the doctor. So, you know, if you try something that's natural and provided by our father and it works, then good. But if you need to go to the doctor because this is not going to work, then please go. And on that note, I want to say that any claims um, towards miraculous healing or anything like that, you won't hear me do. But you will hear me say that. We all need to at least give it a try. And due to our chemical makeup, what works for me may not work for you. But you may try an essential oil that I'm going, well, that didn't work for me and it works just fine for you. But isn't that the same thing that happens even when we try different things from the doctors? This may work for you really good and it may not work for me. The same principle applies. Just because this one doesn't work for you, don't write off all of them. Let's discuss it and let's figure out what does work for you. <clears throat> all right so moving on from that that i just feel like i stumbled all over <laughs> okay digesting as you can see there you have the soft gels in the uh dark colored bottle you have the oil towards the front and you have the tablets in the white bottle i really like the tablets the tablets are easy to pop into your mouth i honestly will tell you i've never done the soft gels i've done the tablets and i've done the essential oil um i like both of them um last night i got to helping my my mom cleaning up where the cat had an accident uh uh, where it was uh, the more solid form and I, I was gagging I lied to you not I've been a nurse I've seen things I've done things I, I, you know but I was gagging and I come in here and I got my digesting and I got purified and I put them on my hands and I put them on my clothes and I went back in there and I held my hand like this and 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 helped her but the digest scene, I'm going to tell you something. I like that stuff. It really helps with the stomach. Um, even a baby uh, who is having stomach upsets, you can dilute a little bit and rub on the tummy. It really, really helps a lot. Um, it, even the bloating part that it was talking about there is very, very good for that. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a little fun. We're going to start at the bottom. Remember what I said about one oil may work for you and an, it may not work for me? Okay, the vetiver, lavender, and cedarwood. I have used that combo. I've used them separately. I've used them together. You name it, I've done it. Okay, but let me tell you something. My absolute favorite is serenity. 
I, I have the Serenity Oil and I have the Serenity Gel Caps. I love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. But I will tell you this. There are times in life where I go, you know, I really need a little extra. Now, let me tell you, Serenity has vetiver, lavender, and cedarwood in it. And it also has hollywood in it. I th or maybe it has whole wood and not cedar wood. I can't remember. But I know it's got the lavender and it's got the vetiver. So once in a while, I'll go, I just need a little extra. Something else is going on. I I'm having a hard time. And I will throw a drop of vetiver or a drop of cedar wood into what I have going in the diffuser or onto my body, either one. So, see, you can play with it and you can give yourself a little more, give yourself a little less. Um sadness the wild orange cheer and citrus bliss are the ones that are suggested here wild orange is very uplifting and energizing uh cheer is also a very citrusy one and it is also energizing and uplifting the citrus bliss has a nickname called liquid sunshine of course we're going to call it liquid sunshine if all we can do when we smell it is smile <laughs> Um, the wake up, motivate, peppermint, and elevation. Now, see, let me throw you some. For me, mixing wild orange with peppermint, fabulous pick me up. Why to get me rocking and rolling? I can just keep going. A beautiful combo. So, you can always remember that if you're needing that energizing. Um, elevation is a is a really good one to lift the mood up, especially if it's a dark and cloudy day and the mood is looking much like the day. Motivate for some people, like someone I know who starts to try to attend a, cl a class an hour before, they may not need the motivate, okay? They may be well motivated as it is. <laughs> But, you know, we all have those days where we could use a little bit of motivation. And that is a really good oil to get us pumping and jumping. Okay. So, don't worry, be happy. That's where the cheer comes in. Optimism, cheerfulness, and happiness. But why do I have a picture of a brain on the other side? Because I've been really studying about growth mindset. And here's what I want to throw a little tidbit in this class. Whenever your moods are dark and down and um, not cheerful, not optimistic, not happy, we have the worry be going on, what happens is it begins to shut down our mindset and it turns us into a mindset of a scarcity or it turns us into a mindset of failure. And when that happens, we actually can see things going on in the brain. So what we want to do is we want to work on lifting those moods and, and elevating the ability for the brain to function because it's all works hand in hand with the way we go through life. And, and it really helps us to be able to, to tackle problems instead of run from problems if we can have a growth mindset, if we can have it in our minds that we're going to grow and not fail. And being a worry wart, being a pessimist, being someone who's always down and, and unhappy is not going to bring about that growth mindset so we could tackle the problems and come out the victor. Okay, so going back to breathing the essential oils in and topically applying them. So when we inhale, we have the odor molecules enter into the olfactory receptors and you can see all the different aspects of the brain going back to the previous slide this is why i wanted to mention this because you want to understand what's going on you can see that it's just kind of going through the brain it's hitting all that and then it's going into the different systems in the glands and, and things of that nature topically you've got the same thing it's going to enter the skin it's going to go to the bloodstream and it's going to go where it's needed that's the beauty of the essential oils I'm going to take it and it's going to go where it needs. Whatever form I use it, in inhalation or topically or internally, it's going to go where I need it. So why throw that in the middle of this? To keep you on your toes. <laughs> 
actually because I'm going to start going into some more of the essential oils. Breathe essential oil is one of my favorite ones. Um, coming through the oil factory system, what you're going to see is you're going to see it's going to help you with your respiratory system to open it up and allow you to have freedom in that area. Remember I said I was a freedom coach. So in the physical aspects, you want to have freedom in your respiratory system because it's going to allow you to take in oxygen and remove CO2. All right. So how would that affect us emotionally? Well, a lot of times when a person is caught up in grief and pain, they feel suffocated. And using the breathe will help even open that up so that they can begin to breathe through the issues. So you can go back to putting it in the palm of your hands and doing what I did earlier. You can diffuse it. You can apply it directly to the chest. All right? and, and even during times of seasonal changes and seasonal threats, you can use the breathe and it's really going to help that. It's going to help the whole respiratory system from the nose all the way down into the lungs. <clears throat> Breathe also helps with, um, if you're feeling unloved, oftentimes we begin to close down and it becomes, we begin to feel a pressure across our chest because we're, we're feeling like we're unwanted, unloved, things of those nature. And so breathe will help open that up and make you more open to the things that you need to be open to. How many drops is often a question of what you would use. Okay, so. Um, if it's a baby, maybe one drop of essential oil to, um, you know, an eighth of a teaspoon or a fourth of a teaspoon of oil so that you can rub it wherever you want to rub it. You don't have to use a whole lot. Uh, one drop is often sufficient for anything you're going to do. One to three drops at the maximum if you're going to an adult. It's not about how much you use. It's about how frequently you use it. So, you know, if let's just say that you had some stomach upset and you were using the digesting that we were talking about earlier, you would put it, you know, on either diluted or neat. You would put it on. And if you're still having the same issue in 15 minutes, it's fine for you to put some more on. If you notice that you've gone 30 minutes and, and it's, still there and but it's less and you were able to handle it for 30 go ahead and add it for 30 you can spread it out or make it even less i have a grandson that through due to his respiratory issues we have used breathe as much as every five minutes and it helped him to clear his respiratory system and he was able to function so you know like always remember it's not how many drops you use it's how frequently you use them Using essential oils in the home. Um, we, have, we have products like the, one of the products you see there is the doTERRA On Guard uh, cleanser. It is really good to clean the house with. Um, it's really good to uh, do those tasks that you want a little bit more extra germ killing factors going on. You can mix uh, essential oils with Castile soap which is the one in the green bottle there towards the center. You can mix it with like a baking soda if you want to use it around the house or vinegar. Um, lemon is a really good one to clean the house with and gives that really good citrusy smell. One of the oils that I like to mop floors with is tea tree because as I'm mopping, it reminds me of my mom using pine saw, but I don't have to have the chemicals that pine saw is. I can have the tea tree oil, which is the melaleuca. Okay, and the melaleuca is the Latin name for tea tree. So if you hear us say melaleuca, you know we're talking about tea tree oil. So this is one of the beauties of using the essential oils is you can even do your home safe for your family and for the environment, which is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. I'll give you a little tip. You want to clean your bathtub? Take um, a little bit of On Guard and a little bit of melaleuca, you know, two or three drops of each, some baking soda, and a rag. Put it on the, put it on there, and just rub it around, and then you can take a little bit of vinegar and mix with it, and everything's going to come right off. Just take your thing and, and rub it right off. And then I'll give you another tip. You take your towel every time you use your bathtub and wipe it out, 
when you're done, you wouldn't have to clean as often there either. <laughs> but you can use the essential oils to do a lot of things in the house. One of my favorite things that I ever discovered is my son and his wife were moving from their house. And when we moved some furniture, we discovered one of the little kids must have got back there with a permanent marker and wrote on the wall. I took lemon essential oil and a rag and went back there and completely removed it without damaging the wall. That was the most incredible thing I'd ever seen. Zendocrine, okay? Um, it is great for liver function. As you can see here, you can add some to your water. Uh, you could take the drops uh, to reset your system and detox it. Um, to the feet, we put drops on the feet or the abdomen to help boost the weight management goals. Uh, drink one to two drops daily for a week to to help with the filtering system of the kidneys and the colon. And you can clear out the endocrine system by taking a few drops internally every couple of months. We have it in an oil, and we also have it in soft gel caps. Now, the reason why that I believe that we're supposed to take both of them and use them and not just the one is because the um, these endocrine caps have a little different um, um combination than the essential oil uh they both essentially do the same thing but there's a little extra in the gel caps which are really good if you're wanting to do like a a spring body cleanse or something of that nature um the emotional aspects of of zendocrine is they help us with transition and change it helps us to re to reduce old habits and limiting beliefs you know when you think about um what holds us back a lot of times is our own thought processes most of the time i i am running slightly behind here so i'm going to pick up the speed and a big like a big dog okay immortal love this stuff you take it and you rub it around that orbital bone oh my goodness okay i have had eye irritations uh, sometimes some uh, our eye stress and tiredness and that just oh my goodness such a relief beautiful beautiful oil for skin after babies oh my goodness or skin during pregnancy huge 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 thing that stretch and pull and itch and all that going on beautiful thing really really love this essential oil blend it does come in a 10 mil roller bottle um, you can also apply it to minor scrapes, spots, and etc. It is grounding to the emotions, quiets the mind, fosters inner stillness, and spiritual growth. If you're feeling discouraged, try some. It'll give you a sense of grace and comfort. One of my favorite oils, geranium. Uh, a few drops to the skincare products. It's a wonderful thing. I love to put it in my bath. I love to mix it with my doTERRA non-scented lotion. Uh, it's great for dry or oily hair to do a scalp massage with. Add a few drops to the shampoo or conditioner even. Uh, keep in the first aid kit for cuts and diffuse aromatically to calm nerves. So now you know why I took this tonight with my other stuff. But let me also tell you a little bit more. It dates back to ancient Egypt. Uh, it naturally repels insects. Geranium uh, is also the oil that I have used during times of grief, like when I visited my dad's grave, I took geranium with me. And the reason why is it supports restoration of a broken heart, supports emotional honesty, and brings forth suppressed pain. It softens anger and supports healing emotional wounds. So I have lots of reasons that I could use geranium because coming from my past, you know, there's places sometimes that I have some wounds and so geranium really helps. Lemongrass, okay. For those that don't know me, I cook. I cook a lot and I love to cook. And I've also turned to vegan. But I have, for those of you who are not vegan, I have a recipe that I used to, to do where I would take chicken and rice and celery and onions and garlic and carrots. And um, I was trying to think. It seems like I'm leaving something out. But anyhow, I would cook this and, oh, fresh ginger. 
okay? And I would cook this. Well, since I discovered essential oils, I also add ginger essential oil with the fresh ginger, and I add lemongrass to it. And I'm telling you, it is so good. Well, now that I'm vegan, I'm making it without the chicken. I'm adding quinoa to replace the chicken and still doing the rice. Beautiful, beautiful dish. Love that stuff. If you want the recipe, let me know. I'll give it to you. Um, tonight, I was making, I was sauteing onions and garlic and broccoli and collard greens and I've had an emotional two days actually and I've used my oils periodically but I was sitting there and I was going you know what this dish needs something else I've put this in I put this in it needs something else I had Thai red curry I had yellow curry I had ginger I had all this going I thought lemongrass so I go and I get my lemongrass and I put some drops in there. And as the aroma come up off the pan, I felt it instantly. The release of the things that I needed to let go of to now, you know, it is very helpful towards us being able to let go of things. It acts as an overall tonic for the entire body, including the emotions. The purifying and toning to the skin so that when we're applying it, our emotions are also going to be helping us to move forward. It cleanses the air emotionally and physically. Uh, it helps us release the past, and it's a very uplifting. Good, good essential oil. Clary Calm. Another one that I love. Cl uh, Clary Sage, which is in this. The other name for it is Eye Bright. Um, going back to my herbal days. And eye bright does exactly what it does. What I said, it supports the eyes. That's the reason why they called it eye bright. So it is in Clary Calm. And I have used it around my eyes for those days where I was having issues. And I will be honest with you, I'm really wanting to go get my eyes checked again because I think that my eyesight has improved in some areas. So I'm going to be really curious to see what the doc has to say about that one. Um, it is really good for that monthly thing or for menopause, either one. Okay, either at either place in a woman's life, whether it's during the time that she's having her monthly visitor or during the time that she's going through the menopause, she can have emotional imbalances and she can have a lot of drama and she can have a lot of discomfort and she needs the Clary Calm. When teenagers are coming into that time of their life, they need the Clary Calm. Um, and it's also very good to transition through the different stages of menopause. Very, very good to balance the mood, balance the emotions. Okay, then for all the mommies, I did a special blend just for you. Last nerve blend. I used to tell my kids all the time, you're getting on my last nerve. You're getting on my last nerve. Don't you step on my last nerve. <laughs> okay, so two drops of lavender, two drops of wild orange, one drop of geranium, one drop of clary sage. Put that in your blender and let everybody's last nerve have a little bit of relief. <laughs> All right, if you view this class from today, which is January the 19th, anytime within this time period of five days, you will qualify for the New Year, New Year promo. What you have to do is you have to talk to the person that you've been talking to and that can help you get this all set up. But you enroll with a 100 PV order within this five days of this class and order 100 PV on your LRP account next month, you get 100 PV free. I'm not going to go through all the kits and things tonight. You can do that with the person that's, that, that has invited you to the class or uh, has invited you to, to view this, inter, to view this uh, class online or recording. That's what I'm looking for, to view this recording. So what is the LRP program? It is the Loyalty Reward Program. We also have a Shipping Reward Program. And the Shipping Reward Program is if you spend $3.99 for shipping, which is what I spend for shipping, okay? I don't care what I order, it's $3.99. Or I could choose a little faster delivery and get $6.99. I get it back in points. I get four points or I get seven points. Okay, so essentially I'm getting my shipping back free. 
But what do I mean by the points? Well, let's go on with the loyalty reward program. Um, you get points, okay, for each product that you order. And, and with these points, it adds up because you start out at, you get 10%. Say if you order 100 PV, you get 10% of that back, you get 10 points. Then as you grow, because you go 10, 15, 20, 25, you get up to 30. Well, at 30%, what you're doing is you're getting 30 points back off of every 100, and that's like $30 if you watch what you're doing. You can literally take those points and get $30 worth of essential oils if you watch how you do it. I love it. Absolutely love it. So. You're getting your shipping reward points and your loyalty reward points. And so if you just want to maintain, like for me, I'm up at 30%. If all I wanted to do was just maintain, I could buy anything from 1 to 49 product value or PV. And that's all I'd have to do just to maintain my 30%. Or I can do 10 to, to, to earn that 10 to 30. I want to keep increasing. And then if I want to do it as a business and get my commissions, there's the aspect on that. And to get the free product of the month, 125 PV a month. You are not obligated to do anything. You get to choose what you want to do. So you're not obligated to even participate in the loyalty reward program. It's just a smart thing to do if you like free product because you do get free product and you get special promos. And that, if I'm not mistaken, is the end of the class. I just hope, and why did it keep on going? Ah, don't want to do that. <laughs> Anyhow, I appreciate you viewing this if you wasn't able to attend, and I appreciate uh, those who were able to attend. I hope you've learned something. I hope that you, um, uh, Feel like that you've got a little something different than what we've been delivering and I hope that you will give it a try because it will be the best thing you've ever done for you in your life and it's freedom actually very much freedom promoting and on that note I shall say adios bye